Um, it's unfortunate that that's what they decided to do. Um, I think that it, it's important that we be as transparent as possible, uh, certainly of the business of state government. If there was anything in there that may have been privileged, um, we would take a careful look at it, but however, always leaning towards the, the necessity to providing information to the public. Do you guys have access to that, those emails, or do you have access no. to a, a lot? It, tell us a little bit about uh, your access to, to some of the, the records that Governor Richardson kept here. Um, we don't have a lot of access to much of that information at this point. When we walked in, um, cabinets were empty, and um, computer drives were as well. It, it, it's my understanding that the state archives, they are the only ones that have uh, these servers and, and all these computers. It, it is, uh, do it is, is under your administration. It's an executive agency. Uh, have you spoken with them or has anybody from your administration spoken with them about possibly accessing some of the, the information that you guys are missing? Well, certainly we're going to be in contact with them as we need information that we can't find anyplace else. Um, because if they're on the servers and they're in need in order to continue to operate government, we're going to keep trying to get that from them. Governor, uh, the uh, archive desk told me that uh, every governor since 1967 has done this. Uh, do you intend to do this at the end of your term? Uh, no. I, every time I uh, print something on the uh, email, I know that it has to be business oriented. I have, if I have a private email that's for my private stuff, my family stuff, I keep those two extremely separate. And so if it's not something that is, um, you know, privileged, um, I certainly intend to, you know, put it out there. I mean, there's. I'm conducting state business, and that's what's most important. It's the people's business on that computer.